Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Howler. That's a 170 second scale kit which copies Beaveret in 170 second scale. Once again here you can see assembled kit and I think this is a resin set because it's Howler and now we have a chance to check it closer. So this is a commercial sample which you will get if you order um, this model directly from their website and we will take a closer look what is hidden inside. So as you can see box is not that big. Here you can see comparison with my hand and on the back side we have just some safety information and also information about manufacturer. So we are going to open it and meanwhile while I'm removing all the components I would like to remind you that we are getting money for the new camera and new photo and video equipment because for example our tripod broke recently. So you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website and choosing the amount you would like to help us with. Be sure that all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment. So here you can see all the components. As you can see everything is packed nicely into separate plastic bags. Of course we are going to start with this resin parts which are packed into the single plastic bag. And actually there are not that many of those parts surprisingly. So what we have here is just let me check if we have something left in the plastic bag. There is nothing. Okay, we are going to start with this one piece uh, car body, which is attached to the resin block via frontal section, as you can see here. And overall molding quality seems to be fine. I guess all external features will be copied with help of uh, PE parts, because as you can see here, we have uh, attachment right on the frontal grill, but we will see it in the assembly manual and know that inside we don't have anything. I will explain in a second why. Well, because we have it separately, the suspension parts and also transmission together with fuel tanks. As you can see, there are um, plane on the top so that you can easily glue them or attach them to the car body. And of course here we have to attach no, wheels of this car. Next we have also this single headlamp which is quite small. You can see um, its size in comparison with my fingertips. There are really, these are really some tiny parts and here you can see also wheels which are molded as one piece parts. It might be tricky to paint but these parts look really good. And from the other side we have just simple um, installation spot so that you glue them onto the axle and you are good to go. Next we have PE fret. This one is packed into the separate plastic bag too. And just give me a second to open it. Here we also have decals. Okay, so decals are not that big. Here you can see them. And know that we have even extra tech 1997 mentioned here so it hints on what this kit is based and here you can see also p parts for external detailing as i said before uh, this kit is somewhat similar to what we saw in dorchester which i am trying to finish at the moment but as you can see there are a lot of interesting parts here so i guess when they all will be attached to resin piece resin car body you will have completely different model as a result. And then we have assembly manual. Assembly manual is printed in black and white. So I'm going to zoom out. Here we have manual. And let's focus the camera. Here you can see it. So on the first page we have short history and ocean check in English. Also a small picture of the real vehicle, but of course it's better to find some reference guide for the build. Then here we have parts map. Assembly process starts with uh, suspension attachment to the car body, wheels installation. Then we continue with those PE parts. These are actually machine guns which should be installed into the turret and note the turret uh, should be glued out of PE parts. That's quite interesting. No, actually this P part should be wrapped around a resin part, so it will be even more interesting. Here you can see a rear armor wall, which will be replicated with P part. 
The same can be said about this frontal section. As you remember, the uh, car body is attached to resin base with this side. And here you can see marking guide that's unknown defense flight in rough service. And here you can see the proximate camouflage, but of course nobody stops you from searching for some other marking options which you can use for this vehicle. Know that there are only two decals and of course two color scheme should be easy to replicate on your model. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, if you want to help us and you want to discuss this kit with us, write it here in the comment section below. If you don't want to miss any new video reviews, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also have quite interesting Facebook page and Instagram page. So I recommend to check it as well. And of course, I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.